All right, Steve, um, you haven't had luck here in your career. Uh, tonight you finally got that monkey off your back, and the guys played a heck of a second half. We did. You know, we, we were scrambling, especially the, the end of the first half there, and, uh, and, and to get that stop, and uh, a couple of timely turnovers, one on special teams, and, and one on defense there to, to really change the, change the field position and, and get us up, you know, a couple of scores where we can feel a little safe. They, uh, they, they were kind of quick strike tonight, and, and we needed every point we got. Um, that interception by Nick certainly was a big interception. Yeah, that was you know right after the onside kick, and uh, and, and they're driving down, and, and it might be a, a tight game, and and uh, he steps in front, and you know nearly takes it all the way back, and, and we end up punching it in. That was, um, you know, we talked about three three big things in the game that turned it around. Uh, I would say the stop in the first half, uh, recovering the kickoff, or I'm sorry, recovering the fumble on the kickoff and scoring, and the Knicks interception. Those those three things really turned it around for us. You mentioned this game was kind of similar to that, that Mount Horeb game a couple of years back in the playoffs, where it was just trading blows with this team. Yeah, they uh, you know they they identified some areas that they could kind of take advantage of us. And I was talking with with Paul Ackley after the game and. He said, you know, if we could spread you out and get you in a, in a too high safety look, we thought we had a chance, and that's what they did. Um, you know, Paul, Paul's a good coach, and, and one of the you know, things to be a successful coach, you identify areas you can attack your opponent, and he did a good job tonight. Another big night for Garrett Bleski. Well, we're both Garrett's, but let's talk about Garrett Bleski. Over 200 again tonight and four touchdowns. He um, he looked great in practice. You know, he was, he's been a little hobbled the last couple of weeks, and, and there was a burst. Uh, back in his running uh, on Tuesday night and Thursday night, when we were doing some plays, and and uh, we thought with the, with especially with that six front they were running, uh, that we could get it outside. And, and first time he touches the ball, you know, 64 yard run or whatever it was, and, and he was off to a great night from there. From what Garrett Ebert's done the second half of the season, uh, does, does that make you a little more comfortable going to the playoffs with a two back set like that? Yeah, you you got to respect what's going on. You can't you can't load up you know opposite of Garrett and figure he's going to get Garrett Blesky and figure out he's going to get the pitch. Um, every, every week Garrett gets better and better and. and you know, he, he started late as a starter, and I, I think the game's getting a little bit slower for him. He's seen some running lanes open up, and, and most importantly for us, he's blocking better. And, you know, if you're going to stay out there and play, you got to build a block. Okay, thanks, Steve. Thank you.